Hello and welcome to the GZ Doom Speedrun Timer demo. Uh, this is it. It's uh, very simple. These are the different categories I implemented. No clip is a fake one that I made up just so I could beat levels quicker and test them. Here's all the difficulties. I've only been running on the easiest because I'm focusing on the movement. And here's all the different chapters. Doom 2 I haven't played at all, but I've done these other chapters. Um, when it's gold like this, that means a personal best has been set during this session. And then this was my last session time, so like this one, this House of Pain, I uh, I beat it. It took a little longer to beat it, so I have a diff, and it tells me just how much longer it took. But uh, a little help message is there. GZ Doom starts with it, but I had it closed. You can see the progress down here. Um, so let's just start run on easy. You can see that it automatically sets the chapter and it grays out the buttons so you don't change it. Whoops. I'm playing in a window now and I'm not used to it, so if it looks like I'm staring at the corner of the screens because I am, just not used to it. So I was 0.02 seconds slower that time. Some things about it, uh, about this program, it, uh, it records your times from the start of the level to the end of the level. So if you pause the game or hit escape, it does not pause your speedrun time. Um, if you load a save game, that scene is like starting a new game. So if you if you have a um, if you have a what am I trying to say? Oh, if you have a save game and you load it, this is going to start recording it as if it's the start of the level. So you just need to be careful and, you know, load responsibly. But luckily, I implemented a feature where you can revert or delete times if you record one accidentally like that. Um, if you die, the run time isn't chained, or isn't saved, I mean. So that's good at least. If you run everything in order, you get a full chapter time, and that includes um, secret levels as optional. So like for chapter one, I skip military base, we don't go to military base. Uh, but in chapter three, I actually do go to the secret level, oh man, can I do this? Nope. I can never do this trick, it's so difficult. I did it better last time too. Oh, come on, man. Uh, oh, also, you know, I should mention this program saves your times to disk, so your session times are not saved. Oh, there we go, finally. Session times are not saved, but your personal best times are. And this is not going to be a personal best, because I had to try so many times. Yeah, I was 22 seconds slower than I was last time. You also notice um, the in-game times do not match what this program records. I tried to get them to match up, but I just couldn't. So I'm guessing that you know the in-game time is just different. Like it's not like one second does not equal one second, which some games are like that. Like StarCraft is like that, for example. And that's fine with me because my program starts recording when you start the level, so it's it's got its own like real time. This should be more accurate. Uh, for the full chapter time, it does not include time spent at the score screen in between levels. Oh my god, let me through. And it's funny, before I wrote this program... Oh, come on, there we go. I went to the the Doom Discord asking like if there's any tools like this, if there's a speedrun tool for GZ Doom or like a, just a way to turn on a little timer. Oh, I didn't get the key. Just a way to turn on the timer. A better timer, because the in-game timer is only accurate to seconds. And they said, no, don't play GZ Doom. Play PR Boom. Don't speedrun in GZ Doom. Nobody speedruns in GZ Doom. Yeah, but you know what? I do. Speedrunning in GZ Doom is fun. I like GZ Doom. It's not the most authentic Doom port, but it's fun. It's got beautiful graphics. It runs great. It uh, it has mouse look like a modern FPS, which allows you to do things with a lot more precision, a lot of good movement. 
And uh, yeah, they told me to play a different Doom part. So I made this program instead. I said no. Oh, can I make it through this door? No. I. This is not fast enough. I can already tell. Oh, it is! I made it through the door. Holy crap. Speedrunning Doom is a lot of fun, by the way. I'm not a big speedrun guy, honestly. I kind of got into speedruns in general recently and just started watching them. But I've never speedrun anything. But then one day I was just bored and I didn't feel like playing any of my games. And I said, you know, I wonder how fast I can make it through the first couple levels of Doom. Because I, I still know what those levels are like. I got those maps memorized, especially, you know, E1, M1. And I just started doing it. Then every day I would route the next level and practice until I got it down. Try a few different things. And it's a lot of fun. It's just, it's a lot of fun, like, mapping out the route, trying to figure out the best way to go. But then also just, like, the movement of doing it. Like, you notice that I'm playing on the easiest... Power just blanked out. What the hell? I'm playing on the easiest um, difficulty. And that's because just the movement is fun. Like, killing the enemies isn't the fun part, it's... Just getting past everything and having clean movement. And that's what makes... Oh, I can run past him. That's what makes speedrunning this so much fun. There's some RNG, but not too much to make it unfun. Oh, my lights just blanked out again. I'm on a UPS, so even if my internet goes out, I'm gonna keep recording. Um, but yeah, the movement is a lot of fun. The movement is like super good. I mean, you can see just how fast I'm going through this. It feels good to just like move through this ridiculously fast. And like the enemies are all so slow that you feel pretty godlike after a while. And also the um, the way movement works in this game is like a little peculiar. What I mean by that is it's not like a modern FPS where it's like based on a real human's movement, like if you jump off something you stumble for a second, there's nothing like that. Your movement in GZ Doom, or in, in Doom I should say, is uh, it's more like a spaceship where you have acceleration and momentum and you lose that momentum when you hit a wall. So you can do little tricks like you might have noticed, like right before I beat this level and in other levels, I'll sometimes back up before going through a door, and that's just to build up more momentum before I cross the threshold. Because starting from a stop is slower than going like this and then going like, no, oh, well, I messed it up that time, but you know what I mean. Oh my god, oh my god, I didn't mean to go in there. But yeah, speedrunning Doom is a lot of fun and it's like really easy to get into. It might seem dumb and like why, but just try it. <laughs> you might find yourself having more fun with it than you expected, like I did. And then also after you route it out, then you can go watch like other speedrunners and see how they do it. See the route. Oh, this is a PB. It's not a PB. <laughs> None of my times are PBs. Wow. Yeah, I did bad this chapter. Let's do chapter two. Oh, I love this music. Oh, this music's so good. I love this song. This is... I'm pretty sure this is Megadeth, right? It's gotta be Megadeth. Which, Megadeth... is the better band. Way better than Metallica. Screw Metallica. Dave Mustaine was right to leave Metallica to found... found? To start Megadeth. Megadeth, way better band. And you know what, if you disagree, it's okay. You're allowed to have wrong opinions. You can say so in the comments below. But Megadeth is way better. Megadeth rules. Now I need to look up if that song really is Megadeth, because I'm going to feel silly. That's another band, dude. This level is super short because of the infinite height glitch. Some things in Doom have infinite height. And one of those things is this switch right there. It's on the other side of this wall. Let's just beat this very quickly and skip the whole map. This is good music too. I love the in-between music. Ooh, that guy almost got me. Get shotgunned. There's a little trick you can do right here where you like speed walk against the wall, but you can't do that in GZ Doom only in more authentic ports. 
Oh, let me through, let me through! This is not a PB. Yeah, almost, you know, one and a half seconds, 1.6 seconds. This stuff was fun. I routed this out. Oh, sorry, hold on one second. There is a bug on me. As you can see, when I hit the menu to pause, the timer kept going. That is, uh... That is how it works. It, um... I can't get the game to, like, say that it's been paused. So, I don't pause the timer. But even if I could, I don't know if I would, because... We want complete speedruns, right? We don't want people pausing and unpausing in the middle. But yeah, this little thing that I just did, that's like the only change I made after watching. No, that's not true. There are a couple little changes that I made to my route when I watched the pro videos. Command center. I don't get it, where are the SCVs being made? I don't see any SCVs being made in this command center. Where are the minerals? Are we floating? Got past that prick, that's good at least. Oh, there go my lights again. I don't know what's going on. Ooh, 0.40 seconds faster, nice. So by the way, all these um, personal best times that are gold, they're gold because I set them during this session. If I were to close and reopen the program, they would all go white. It's only gold when you get a personal best while the program's open. This level has a big skip if you're playing the, um, the original Dooms. You can do a glitch where um, you get out of bounds. Die, stop living. I get it. Ooh, I got out. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I was going to say the pinkies always block me there. I keep, I keep craning my neck forward to see the game better because I'm running it in a window. I'm gonna try going this way from now on. Yeah, that's a little bit faster. Oh, I didn't make it through the door. Ooh, my health is low. But not too low. Not a personal best. this level. I routed this whole level out and I would get lost on it sometimes and then I watched a video and realized, wait, you can just rocket jump the end right here? Oh no. There we go. Oh, there go my lights. Two seconds slower. And now we're on the Cyber Demon boss, which I found out using the plasma gun is actually quicker than the rocket launcher. It does more DPS. Get plasma, boy! Let me just do a little tap at him. And I will see, that, yeah. This is what I used to have to do before I wrote this program, is bring up the map at the end of every chapter so I could see what the time was. Because there's no way to see after that. And of course it's only to seconds accuracy. So yeah, no per oh no, I did get two personal lists. The first and second level I did better than last time. Oh, and command center. I did a little bit better. Let's do chapter three now. Yeah, I mean, there's really not a whole lot else to this program. I, I could tell you more about like how it works, but who cares? If you really want to know, this shit is free software, open source GPL3. Please open it up, read it, modify it, 
If you make any cool changes, send them back to me. Or if you want to keep them secret, that's cool too. Just don't distribute it as proprietary software. That would make baby Richard Stallman cry. We don't want that. Oh, this is good music too. Oh no, what? I got oh I got caught on that light post thing. It's a shame we gotta beat this level so quickly. And it's got such good music. Two rockets I figured out is the right amount there. Oh, this is good music too. This is Slayer. This I know for sure. This is behind the crooked cross. Da -da 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 -da. Don't stand against this wall or you get stopped, I found out recently. God, even the MIDI version of the song goes so hard. Oh, come on. Not a PB. House of Pain. I've recently tightened up my route on this and I realized that I just don't need the items that I've been getting. Like, I was going out of my way to get invincibilities that I just don't need. Oh no, I missed it. Yeah, like that's one of them that I just don't need, so I no longer get. Oh my god, this guy's blocking me. There's a million health packs here, so I don't have to worry too much. These runs are not as clean. I was actually cleaner last time. That's a shame. But really, I'm only doing this to show off my program. SourceForge wants a YouTube video. I'm happy to provide one. Ooh, I got crushed a little bit and then got out. That's funny. Oh no. Oh no. Why did I wake these assholes up? Second to last level, I always go and get this secret though. This room, it has these two vents at the top there. That's so if you shoot the enemies in rooms that those vents go to hear you and they start walking toward you and teleport in. So don't shoot in that room. And then this level is big, I think. I didn't, didn't even route this one because I realized, as many speedrunners did, that you can just go straight. Oh, that was freaking good to the secret exit. That was really sloppy. But yeah, the secret exit is just like the first one rehashed. So it's way quicker than playing that other level. Also, I love this level so much. Like this is just id map making in a nutshell. It's just like playfully setting expectations and then breaking them. You're like, what? Why are all these rockets here? What the hell, a boss? And then on your way out, there's a million big scary monsters trying to kill you. But, I've got this invulnerability. So we can just ignore them. I thought I'd try BFGing there. I usually don't do that, but I probably should. Ooh, that was a PB. Finally. Oh, and the first level too. By a tiny bit. Gate to Limbo. So this level is, um, it's called Gate to Limbo on the screen as you just saw, but the game actually just calls it Limbo. So I, I renamed it in this program today to match. There's another level like that too in, uh, in Doom 2. It's called Circle of Death on the screen, but then like in game it's actually called O of Destruction. Come on, come on, let me through. This map I um 
I routed on my own. I was having trouble with it. It's very confusing when you're first trying to figure it out. Because there's all these teleporters that kind of look the same and they bring you to different places. But then I figured out um, from watching a video that you really, and kind of on my own, that so you can just run across here and then run across here. You can just skip parts of it. So that's one skip and there's another I'm about to hit also. Now we go to the middle. And we're going to go like this. First time, every time. Now we go this way. This is going to be a PB, I think. Oh, I got caught there. Didn't get caught by those guys. Minus six seconds. Yeah. And now we're on the boss. He takes one second. Nine seconds, ten seconds. Ah, uh, plus six. Yeah, but there. There's Doom chapters one, two, and three. Speed ran. Got all the diff times. Uh, it's a cool program. I like it. Because I made it. <laughs> um, it only supports Linux right now. It depends on the standard buff program to get line buffered text output from GZ Doom, which is nerd stuff. I probably could port this to Windows if I could figure that part out. That and like finding or setting the GZ Doom executable. Because on Linux, it's just in your path. You type GZ Doom and it runs. On Windows, you're installing it somewhere weird to program files. You have to go call the full path. And that's why you have shortcuts everywhere. Um, I don't even have a Windows machine anymore. I do not use Microsoft products, and neither should you. But if someone wants to help me test, uh, hit me up. Harass me. I can uh, I can probably port this to Windows. I just need someone to test it. Uh, but that's my video. Thanks for watching. Again, if you have any questions, uh, open a ticket, try out the software, and get into Doom speedrunning. It's a lot of fun. More fun than it seems. Trust. Bye.